I'm spilling the tea. It's going to be hot, hot, hot. Let's talk about another expose that happened in this week's Inquirer. It's Hollywood Bodyguards Unleashed. Oh. Oh. Now, in this story, all of the Hollywood bodyguards are spilling the tea on their favorite stars. Oh. So some of them include <laughs> Julia goes days without a shower. <laughs> Julia is a total hippie. She'll go days without showering, and she likes to save water, and she likes the smell of her natural oil. So what? Yeah. That's like a well-known old rumor. That's mm. like as old as like Kelsey Grammer cross-dressing artist <laughs> forming oh. Louis Bruce. Really, she like famously like has like long armpit hair and has bo and doesn't shower, and that's, that's like a well-known. Fears. Alaska likes that story. I haven't showered in weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I want a cover story in the Inquirer, <laughs> the Examiner, whatever the hell it is. Some of these are very obvious. Brittany lives on a diet of Taco Bell and Red Bull. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Yay. Oh, this is a story from the greatest year of Britney Spears' life, 2008. Hallelujah, thank you, gay Jesus, for 2008, Britney Spears. Yeah. When she was going from bathroom at CVS to bathroom at CVS to Taco Bell, shaving her head, oh. doing all the rest. According to the source, oh, the toxic singer would vomit after meals, both at home and restaurants. So often people thought she was bulimic, and she also thought unicorns are real <laughs> and lived somewhere in New Zealand. <laughs> I'm sh get me a unicorn from New Zealand ASAP. I mean, it's what does cool. ASAP mean? <laughs> it had to be explained to her that unicorns were never real. <laughs> get me a unicorn from my show, Julie. Julie, <laughs> give me a damn unicorn from a show. But they're not real, Brittany. <laughs> Shut up, Julie. You're like Mariah Carey, suicidal and insane. Okay. 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 What else are those? Uh, some of these are all very obvious. Aloof Oprah's snub to neighbors. Oprah goes for power walks in the neighborhood and she's always trailed by a couple of bodyguards. One time she dropped a sweater in the street, the neighbor picked it up and returned it to her home with a note and Oprah didn't even bother to thank her. What? Oh, like burn the sweater. Oprah don't have time for that. She didn't come thank you. She don't have time to write no damn notes. No, I would like, I think I want to become a bodyguard. Do you? Yeah. Celebrity bodyguard? I want to become a celebrity bodyguard. For Miley Cyrus, so you can be her new butch <laughs> yeah, girlfriend? Yeah. Finger yeah, blast. Well, yeah. I mean, well, I mean, she's back in the fold, literally. I mean, right? <laughs> I mean, doesn't yeah. it seem like a good job? You just walk around you with You know them, why she's thinking of this? Because of the Jennifer Lawrence sexy bodyguard story. That's why oh. Julie's like, oh, right. <laughs> And what was the Jennifer Lawrence sexy bodyguard story? That, that she was getting sexy with ass bodyguard. Oh, that yeah. she has a new sexy bodyguard. <laughs> yeah. That's the story. And Julie's like, I think I kind of want to be. <laughs> Should I get into being like a celebrity bodyguard? I'm like, I could do absolutely. it. Absolutely. You could. I could keep paparazzi away. Yes. They don't do anything. They don't Would, do anything. They could think they'll think I'm a guy, and they'll be like, hey. Would you take a bullet for him? <laughs> a bullet? Because yeah. the assassination attempts are far and wide. I mean, I would learn Krav Maga <laughs> <laughs> and be able to take someone yeah, down. Yeah, oh, Julie. Don't, don't, don't be know. doing no tuck noise kick, bitch. Watch it, man. Like, watch out. Don't touch Jennifer. Like that? <laughs> long, long. <laughs> yeah. Let's take a look at the picture of Jennifer Lawrence's hot bodyguard. We pretend we've seen it. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Now, Alaska, do you ever feel like you need to get yourself bodyguards? Because I can only imagine that, especially lately, everywhere you go, people are just uh, bombarding you, wanting your attention. I do. I'm going to hire Kevin Costner. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to carry me through the crowd. Oh, you already do do amazing a version of I Have Nothing that I hope will be one of your next singles. I hope so, too. <laughs> if you've never seen Alaska do I Have Nothing, you're missing out. Everybody on Battle of the Seasons was lip syncing, doing tricks, and whatever, and suddenly a light came down. Do, 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 do. Alaska came out with a big flower and gave, give me just a little taste of that, Alaska. And a hue, and a hue, and a hue. <laughs> You're gonna love me. Uh. <laughs> Wonderful, bravo, bravo.